Well, here we go again. Um, we're on security still, which is 20% of the CompTIA Cloud Plus CV0003 exam. Uh, and we will link down below to the um, cloud objective. So once again, we're now on 2.4. So if I come down here to 2.4, right here. This is what we're going to cover in this video, and we'll go from there. So 2.4, given a scenario, apply data security and compliance controls in cloud environments. Okay. So we have encryption, and this is thrown out there in a lot of different ways. Um, so let's talk a little bit about you know, there's encryption at rest in transit and in use. So encryption at rest is if you encrypt something to store it on a hard drive. Encryption in transit is when it's being transported from one place to another, like HTTPS. So if you look up here in my browser, HTTPS, S is the secure. So that's encrypting this uh, coming down. But then there's also in use, encrypted while it's in use. And encryption, uh, there's asymmetric and symmetric. Symmetric is fast. It uses the same key. So I might give a file to you and tell you the password for the file is this. That's a, that's a symmetric. Uh, that's symmetric encryption, the same, same password. Asymmetric is not, it does not use the same password. It uses a complex um, algorithm to compute uh, it and you use it, the key. Uh, so if you have the private key or the public key and whoever has the other can, can, can use it. So uh, anyway, if you have a private key, uh, then someone's sending you stuff encrypted with your public key. Or if you have their public key, you encrypt with the public key and they can decrypt it with the private key. Uh, usually, uh, since that's slower, uh, most systems like HTTPS, uh, when you first initiate that public private key uh, exchange, it then switches to a symmetric. It just says, okay, now this is what we're going to share. So it's faster. So integrity. Um, so hashing alg algorithms. Hashing, so for example, we use MD5 sum a lot in my, uh, that I like to use as an example. Uh, an MD5 sum just takes a snippet and, and says this is what uh, it would look like if it was this many bits. Uh, in fact, let me just pull up a command prompt and let's do something like that. Uh, I think I did this in an earlier video, but that's okay. Uh, and I'm going to go into temp uh, ls. And I'm just going to echo testing into test.txt. And so I can do an md5 sum on test.txt. And it gives me this value. Now, if I just edit that, so I'm going to vi test.txt. And I'm going to just insert a space, right? A minor change. And do the MD5 sum again, and it's very different. Okay, now let's do that again. But this time, let's just let's just do a capital T. So all we did is a capital T, and you see from this one, where it didn't, to this one is still very different. Okay. So MD5 sum or a hashing algorithm is a way to take a piece of data and hide it in a way that you can't undo it. So this is not, it's, it's not able to be decrypted. It's not encryption, you're not encrypting and decrypting. It's hashed. Um, I like to think of this as uh, if I was scrambling eggs. Yeah, I could take another egg and do all the same ingredients and come out with the exact output. Um, but it would have to be exactly the same. Um, and that's how you that's how you crack hashes. This is how we store most of our passwords is a, a hash. You can't decrypt them, but you can uh, 
test to see what they are and hash it until you get it. Uh, digital signature is a way of uh, validating uh, who someone is or, or what, where it's from. A file integrity monitor, uh, so I've seen these use hashes and stuff um, to keep track of file integrity. Uh, classification. So classification is where we list something as uh, how important it is. Uh, so is it private or top secret, depending on where what industry you're in, if you're in government or or, uh, or private, or is it something we don't mind being public? Um, segmentation, keeping things separate, uh, including very few things all running on the same system. Uh, access control. Uh, how do we, what are we allowing to talk to uh, each other? What are the, what are the gateways? Um, so impacts of laws and regulations. This is, is something that uh, I've talked to people about a couple times recently. Uh, sometimes the reason why you keep something local is because you worry about, say, a legal hold. A legal hold is where someone files a lawsuit or or there's some investigation going on and you're asked to keep something and not destroy it well if you control it that comes to you but if it's in the cloud you might not know uh, depending on how you've set things up because the cloud provider might be the one that puts the legal hold on and they don't even have to notify you um depending on the uh, on the situation so records management, uh, versioning, retention, destruction, uh, write once, read many. Uh, so versioning, uh, do we keep prior versions of something? This is really easy, especially in the, in the computing world and with cloud computing. And if we're keeping different versions, um, how long do we retain old versions or the current copy? Uh, do we only need it for a short period of time or a long period of time? And at what point in time should we destroy things? Um, obviously not after you get a legal hold, no matter what your records management policy is. If you get a legal hold, even if there are things you were supposed to destroy and they're scheduled to be destroyed, you, you should not destroy them. Um, obviously I'm not a lawyer. Uh, this is not legal advice. Um, you get to talk to your own lawyers, but I think we've all read the stories about Enron, right? Uh, where even before they got the legal hold, I believe it was before they got the legal hold. The lawyer said, remember your record management policy. And then they started destroying things. That was not good. Um, knowing that a legal hold was even coming. Uh, write once, read many. Um, so being able to, to propagate things out. Data loss prevention, making sure things don't leak to people that they shouldn't go to. Um, and the cloud access security broker, someone who can keep track of things even if you can't. So uh, this was all on one slide. So 2.4, we're done. Sorry, it was a lot of talking. I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next video.